This is a basic presentation on hematology analysis offered by MedSource Ozone Biomedical. Hematology is the study of blood and hematology analyzers which are also called as cell counters are analyzers which help us in studying blood and blood components. Before we try to understand the features of the hematology analyzer that we offer, it's important that at least our basics of hematology are clear. Let's understand the various components of blood, especially the blood cells. Broadly spoken, blood cells are of three types. Platelets which are very small, RBCs which are bigger and WBCs which are the largest blood cells. WBCs are white blood cells and RBCs are red blood cells. So a simple blood cell count will have platelets, what number of platelets are there in the patient sample, whole blood cells, how many whole blood cells are there in the patient sample and how many RBCs or red blood cells are present. However, this is not sufficient information and a physician will generally expect more information. When we say more information, we basically mean more information about WBCs. WBCs are of two types, granulocytes and agranulocytes. Granulocytes, when looked under the microscope, have granules in them and therefore they are called as granulocytes while agranulocytes do not have any granules. Granulocytes are further classified as neutrophils, eosinophils and basophils and agranulocytes are further classified as monocytes and lymphocytes. A little bit more, red blood cells or RBCs typically appear like shown in this diagram and the scientific term for red blood cells is erythrocytes. Platelets as you will note are smaller and the scientific term for platelets is thrombocytes. The third type of blood cells are white blood cells also called as leukocytes and as we discussed in the previous slide White blood cells can be either granulocytes, which include neutrophils, eosinophils and basophils. In this diagram, maybe you can appreciate the small granules that you can see. Or they can be agranulocytes, which is monocytes and lymphocytes. Now that we understand the basic concepts of hematology and the kind of blood cells, Let's look at the analyzers which are offered by Metsos Ozone. In many markets, we offer an analyzer called as HumaCount 30DS, which is shown on the left. And in many markets in India and outside India, we also offer a machine called as EuroCount TS, shown on the right. Both the machines are exactly the same in terms of their performance and specifications. The only difference is that one comes from human Germany and the other one comes from another European manufacturer in our brand name. But except the front cover, everything is exactly the same and there is absolutely no difference in terms of their spare parts, performance, etc. Cell counters are typically of two types when we talk about um, automated hematology analyzers. One are what we call as three-part hematology analyzers and the other are what we call as five-part hematology analyzers. EuroCount TS and HumaCount 30 TS are both three-part hematology analyzers and the reason we call them is as three-part cell counter is because they measure three parts of white blood cells. The first part that they measure are lymphocytes, the second are monocytes 
and the third are granulocytes. So they measure the total granulocytes which includes neutrophil, eosinophil and basophil. On the other hand, a 5-part hematology analyzer will also be able to measure the amount of neutrophils, the amount of eosinophils and the amount of basophils. So a 3-part cell counter will give you results of lymphocytes, monocytes and granulocytes while a 5-part will give you lymphocytes, monocytes, neutrophil, eosinophil and basophil. Once again, Huma count 30 TS and Euro count TS are both 3-part hematology analyzers. Um, both of them measure the 18 standard parameters which include WBC, lymphocytes, uh, monocytes, granulocytes, percentage of these uh, cells, red blood cells, hemoglobin, hematocrit, MCV, MCH, MCHC, RDW, etc. And the platelets, both in terms of the percentage and the total, the um, uh, mean PV values, the platelet distribution width. These are the 18 parameters and additionally our both the cell counters have two very interesting parameters called as PLCC and PLCR. All three part hematology analyzer work on the principle of volumetric impedance. While this diagram might look very complicated, I would like you to just pay attention to the enlarged image at the bottom of this presentation with the title cell passing the aperture. The concept of volumetric impedance is actually quite simple. There are positive and negative electrodes and a small hole called as the aperture. This hole or the aperture has a very interesting property that depending on the size of the cell which is passing through this aperture a signal is generated. This signal is an electrical signal and can be easily measured. We know that platelets are of very small size, RBCs are of bigger size and WBCs are the largest. So a small cell like a platelet passing through the aperture will produce a small signal. A larger cell like RBC passing through the aperture will produce a larger signal and a WBC will produce the largest signal. By counting the number of times we got a small signal, we know how many platelets we have. By counting the number of times we got a medium signal, we know how much RBCs we have. And by counting the number of times we get a large signal, we know the amount of WBCs we have. So essentially when we add blood in the cell counter, the blood is diluted so that only one cell passes through the aperture at any point of time. Then we measure the electrical signal which is generated and on the basis of the amount of electrical signal, the machine knows whether it was a platelet, RBC or WBC. And within WBCs, also we know that the lymphocytes have a different size compared to the monocytes and the granulocytes. So by a different size it produces a different electrical signal and by measuring the electrical signal we know whether it was RBC, WBC or platelet. The machine counts all of them and reports the value. One exception to this is the hemoglobin which is really a protein. Hemoglobin is measured by a photometry present inside the analyzer using a green LED. So all the cells are counted on the basis of their size by the cell counter and hemoglobin is measured photometrically.